The Call of Duty zombie storyline is in a very weird place. I've been following the zombie story for a very long time. At no point in the World at War to Black Ops 4 storyline did I feel disinterested. There was always something to catch my attention. There was always this side Easter egg or this tiny little detail in the story that would hold my interest for a very long time. Call of Duty Zombies is one of the best stories ever told across any medium, but especially video games. That's my opinion. And I think that's how well the story is done. There was just something about the story that still to this day resonates with me. And I would wager that it resonates with millions of people the same way with different aspects of storytelling, like ciphers and radio messages, and just a simple piece of paper on the ground. All of it builds together this amazing story. After the end of Black Ops 4, the end of the Aether story, I have to admit that the story has been lackluster at best. It just doesn't have the same riz for me, for lack of a better word. Unsure how much time I really wanted to invest into the new story. For me personally, I have loads of theories and secrets in the classic zombie story that I would love to talk about, and I just simply don't have the time to do all of it. So investing more time in the new story that I'm maybe 20% interested in just really doesn't appeal to me. But that, my friends, was before she came along. Etherella, the girl of my dreams. Just kidding about that part. And no, this isn't gonna get weird. You don't need to click off the video. So why am I excited about a trap in Liberty Falls? Allow me to explain with another question. Do you remember the weasel? This guy, Albert Weasel Arlington. It is revealed to us in the zombie storyline that he was an aspiring comic book artist. He sends his comic into someone he refers to as the editor, and we can see that the editor wrote nasty comments on the comic in red pen. This is cool, but then on top of that, Treyarch went to the effort of cutting this paper up and spreading the pieces of the comic around the map for players to find. This means that players for days and weeks, I'm not sure how long it took to find all the pieces, eventually pieced together this page from a comic called Icarus from Mars. As if this wasn't cool enough, what is the name of the plane in Mob of the Dead? Al named his makeshift plane the same as his comic, Icarus. My point here is that comic that Treyarch didn't have to make, they didn't have to take the time to spread it all around the map. That comic was so cool and it told such a neat story. Al wanted to make a change in his life and he wanted to make comics, a way out of the life of crime for him. Unfortunately, we know how that turns out and he ends up in prison with the other three characters from Mob of the Dead. The way Treyarch told us, essentially his entire backstory with one comic is amazing. Yes, there is a lot of inference on my part, but I think you get what I'm saying. They used to do so much with so little in the storytelling. Etherella gives me the same vibes as the Icarus comic. Maybe it's just because we're in a comic shop. Maybe this is the only time we will actually see Etherella. Maybe I'm just grasping for straws here for anything to get me deeper into this story. To be honest, I don't know what it is, but what I do know, I would 100% be down for Treyarch to start telling some cool stories again. Like for instance, the inference of an Etherella trap and a comic shop with comics of Etherella is a reference to the dark ether, to an entity or a superhero or supervillain actually, based on the ether. This means that the ether is now mainstream. Like the people at large are at least somewhat aware of the ether. Maybe it's an urban legend, but to some extent people know about it because there is a comic and a super villain based on the ether. My hope is that they will do something really cool with the Etherella story. I do have a theory about her. It's way too much for this video, but I will get a video made on that soon. I really hope that Treyarch are starting to give us more of a reason to dig deeper into the story. It really does seem like Black Ops 6 is going to be good this year, and I'm starting to feel hopeful that we might get to see some really cool stories coming out this year in Call of Duty Zombies.